It's Friday, October 25th, 2019. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals. We are still in hurricane season, but we are also heading toward winter. So as we look at satellite, we see a tropical disturbance in the western Gulf, and we see a bunch of clouds across the south central and southeastern U.S. It's associated with two things, the disturbance in the Gulf and then low pressure approaching the Gulf from the northwest. Now, there's a small possibility that that mass of clouds, the brighter color enhanced clouds you see could briefly become a tropical depression, maybe a minimal tropical storm. But the bigger picture is this is going to be one big rain system for the southeastern states as we approach and move into the weekend. Take a look at this computer forecast. Moving through today, the brightest colors represent the heaviest rain moving into Louisiana and Mississippi. Even without the tropical disturbance, there would still be rain. So these systems are not going to strengthen each other. It's going to be mostly rain with a risk of severe weather. Notice most of this is going to occur for today, tonight, Saturday, and then move out by Sunday as it weakens and heads toward the east. Hurricane season runs through the end of November, so it wouldn't be unusual, just as we saw last week, to see a quick-forming tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico. Last week it was Nestor. If this becomes a tropical storm, the name would be Olga. But what you do need to know today, if you are in southeastern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, or extreme southwestern Alabama, you have a risk of some strong thunderstorms, maybe some severe thunderstorms, and then across coastal Mississippi, a small risk even of an isolated tornado. That entire region and beyond is looking at a threat of flooding because several inches of rain will fall from southeastern Louisiana into Mississippi. And if it comes down too fast in a short period of time, that's where you get that threat of flooding. So keep up with your weather forecast for today. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.